Should Jalen Brown's contract now put Zach Levine's value into perspective? It should, in my opinion. Let's talk about it. Listen, if you're new to the channel, it's your boy P Kid. You rocking with the best right now. Let's just go ahead and get into it. The issue right now is most Bulls fans have this very, 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 very just asinine idea as to what some players are worth and what some players aren't. In many cases, many people will sit there and say that Zach Levine wasn't worth 215 and more like 180. But they they say, oh, Kobe, why get paid too little? Or that some people say Vooch is worth twenty two million a year, but but paying him thirty? Oh my God, no, that's just way too much money. But you got people like Jalen Brown who just got a five year, three hundred and four million dollar contract, and he's not better than Zach Levine at all. He's not even the best player on his freaking team. You got players like Desmond Bain who are making two hundred thirty. He's making more than Zach Levine. He's not even the best player on his team. What this goes to show you is that the average fan needs to shut up and, and, and educate themselves on the fact that the money is going up. The market is going up. These players that y'all say ain't worth it are absolutely worth it. Vooch, to me, we got him at a discount. Vooch is a top 10, top 11 player at his position. And his matchup versus some of the best in the league is pretty freaking good. I'm not saying he wins every matchup. I'm saying the simple fact is he absolutely holds his own. And he's, he's able to score from back to the basket. He has a good mid-range. He can shoot the three. He does a lot more than we give him credit for. But most people sit there and say, trade Vooch or he's not worth the money you got. Those type of people, I sit there and say, shut it up. Because guess what? He absolutely is. But, hey, 22 to whatever million. In fact, we, we underpaid. We underpaid for what Vooch does. Zach Levine, his contemporary, we as a as a whole community have compared him to Jalen Brown for the last two seasons. Got paid 304 over five. Now, many people will sit there and say that Jalen Brown is a, is a better defender, but Zach is a better offensive player. Either way, they are contemporary. They are. We, we, they, that's his comp. That's his direct comp. We've compared him to Jalen Brown every rip. Some people, you, no matter who you, how you go to, it's back and forth, right? Right? 50% 50, 50 on it. 50 50 thing. Guess what? 304 over 5, 60 million a year? That's the market? And we complain about Zach's 215? Shut it up. Underpaid. Underpaid. We should be happy. That we got Zach at 215. Considering what everyone else said. Did you hear me just say Desmond Bain's not even best player on his team? He got like 230. Shut it up. This is just what it is. This is what the money is. And this goes up and brings up two questions now. Realistically, it brings up a question about whether or not the Bulls need to stop being cheap. Like at this particular point, we're sitting there talking about staying under the luxury tax and stuff like that. Listen, Jerry, get your old self off. Get your head out your behind at this point. Because I'm telling you this right now. Very few teams are going to sit there and be competitive like they in this era without flirting or going over that luxury tax. I know that we're less than a couple million over that. But guess what? Start spending some freaking money. Because you know what? We're not going to go far without it. You're not going to find the next Michael Jordan and get him to on a 10-year deal worth less than. And well, we, we had Michael on some asinine contract to the point where he made $90 million in like three years based off of every year being a one-year $30 million deal to the end of his contract because that's how much he was worth. Guess what? You're not going to find that type of player again. These kids are getting paid more than Mike was. Some of these kids get paid more than Mike made his entire career on their first contract. Jerry, you're not going to find that again. If you can't sit there, hey, listen, piss it off the pot. At this point, you have to spend the money if we're going to be competitive. This ain't it. Now, I, this is a, is, a, is an odd rent because this is about whether how we should be viewing the market, how we should be viewing Zach Levine's contract. This is true, but it's also a, a state and a revelation of who we are as an organization and where we are. The simple fact that we all collectively know that we, if we do go over the luxury tax, we ain't going to go by much. And we're not trying to ball out and do things because we don't. It's not that we don't have the money. That's the part I want people to understand. It's not that we don't have the money. It's the simple fact that we have an owner who wants to sit there and play by a very old, outla outdated set of rules. And he doesn't. And he's being cheap. Guess what? 
you're not going to do it. If it happens, it'll be a one off. You get one, you never get another one. Funny thing is, while while it's true, absolutely true, that we won three with Jordan being probably one of the least paid people in the league. The next three that Jordan won, he was the highest paid person in the league. In fact, if you sit there and you do it, if you sit there and you uh, you you adjust it by inflation, he would still be Jalen Jalen Brown's contract would just now be itching close to or slightly over what Michael Joe was making if you adjust for inflation in the nineties. That's how much we were paying. Mike had paid in the nineties. So guess what, Jerry? I understand that you don't want to do X, Y, Z. Guess what? It's time to do it. Because we're not going to be competitive too. This also brings in another question. Because everyone has looked at this. We've seen this. We've talked about we've talked about Zach Levine's contract. Obviously, you see how I feel about it. I'm kind of hot about it. But now do we have DeMar coming up. What do you pay DeMar? DeMar is has been killing it at his position. He is a two slash three. He was king of the fourth. He's revitalized his career. You, you going to pay him Vooch money? DeMar's worth more than Vooch. He's worth more than, than Vooch money. So what are we going to pay him? Are we Do we plan on keeping him? What is the state of, the, of this particular organization? Is this a prove it year? Ultimately, we have to ask those questions because cause guess what? When it comes down to if we're going to run it back... The De- DeMar's contract is going to come up soon. We need to pay him. What you going to do, Jerry? Going to be cheap again? You're not going to get him for less than $30 million a year. If DeMar, if DeMar's production stays the same, which is very possible, you're not going to get him for $30 million a year. He's worth more to the market than that, even at his older age. Now, I'm not saying he gets a long deal, maybe a two-year Right, but it's gonna be. It's not gonna be two for sixty. That's not gonna happen. So what are we gonna do? So it brings up a couple of things. Either we have to collectively adjust how we view our players, give them more respect, put some more respect on their name as they come through, or we have to put more pressure as fans on our ownership to sit there and do what's necessary to be competitive. Because now we're sit with this new CBA and other teams pretty much telling you, "Ha, I see it," but this is what we're gonna do anyway. It's going to be a long time before the Bulls are not relevant. The Bulls have always kind of been somewhat rele- relevant, right? Never really the laughing, laughing stock of the East, but never really considered a threat. Mediocre is definitely what we've been. We've been like the, it's a good football analogy for this. I don't want to say Dallas Cowboys because I think the Knicks are like the Dallas Cowboys of the, of the NBA. I think we've been like, we've been like OKC. We've been like OKC. Well, that's still a basketball reference. Either way, you get what I'm saying. Mediocre at best. Teams are just struggling around. You hear? We're like the Kings now. Jesus, that's harsh. We're like the Kings now. However, that makes you feel. I don't care. Like, uh, I don't want to be the Kings. I don't want to be the Kings of the Eastern Conference. Win a couple games. No one takes you serious. They think you're going to be right there, but never really get over the hump. You make a couple moves. People see what you're doing and say, oh, look at that. They're making some noise and they get excited. And then you just just fell off again. Like, I don't I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that, but I want to hear your thoughts, man. I want to hear how you feel about it. I want to hear how you feel about these particular things. And again, how do you feel about where the market is going? Are he contracts too much? Does Zach Levine to you now look like a, a bona fide discount? To me, it definitely is. And ultimately, what does it mean now that we see this money going up for Jerry? What does it mean? What is the state of it? Let's talk about it. Listen, whether it's love, whether it's hey, put it in the comments. I'll be in there with you, man. Listen, I'm always here for the smoke. That's who I am. That's what I do. Like I said, you're rocking with the best. Anyway, put it all in there, man. Till next time.